Hi, welcome back to Zach of All Trades. I'm Zach, and I've finally reached the point where I'd rather pay for the materials for a project than get them for free, plus the cost of effort. Today I'll be building a rustic coffee table with storage. My wife and I have a dear friend who just moved into a very small apartment in which storage space is at an absolute premium. We were over at her house the other day and it became apparent that something that would be very helpful to her would be to have a small table of some sort with some storage space in it. So that's what I'm going to be building. She likes the whole rustic thing, you know, barn wood and pallet wood and stuff like that. So I thought that that's perfect. I can build this project for nothing. After most of an evening spent trying to disassemble just one of the three pallets generously donated to me by a good friend of mine, I decided that enough was enough. You see, this is how far I got. I ruined two metal cutting jigsaw blades and, well, I wasn't able to get the doggone thing apart. The wood is just soft enough that you can't pry on it because the nail heads will pull right through and they'll break. So I bit the bullet and for 27 bucks, I got what's the equivalent of three pallets worth of boards. And this is cedar. Fence pickets. Perfect.
let's see how this worked out for us. If it's not obvious, I put all this weight on here because when I put the clamps on, the whole thing was trying to bow bow up just because the uh, edges of these boards are not properly jointed. So there's there's a little bit of variance in them. So this was a good way to hold everything down. This is just going to be the bottom of the um, of the compartment, the storage compartment, anyhow. So it wasn't ultra critical. First time I've ever used an anvil in a woodworking project. Wow, that was a big spider. Oh, did you see that? Man, I hope I got that thing on video. Well, that's a problem. Not a problem anymore. All right, turned out pretty well. I need to go ahead and trim all the ends of this flush because as I was building it and cutting things uh, in the center of the board, they all kind of got a little bit different length and whatnot. So I want, them, I want them square. The problem is, here's my short one. This and this are my short ones here. And if, regardless of what saw I use, if it's a handsaw or a jigsaw or whatever, if I try to cut right straight down along there, eventually at some point my saw is going to kick out and not want to not want to carry it because I'm not cutting off very much here and especially not right here there's really not enough to make a good saw kerf to hold my saw where it needs to be so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clamp this piece of plywood underneath so that I have some material underneath there to cut a saw kerf in what do you think that gotta work
in just like I had hoped. A nice square cut, how about that? Now it was extra work cutting through this and this, but if I play my cards right, I think I can use this one on the other side. I guess it's not gonna work like that. All right, once again for the second time. All right, young lady. I hope that for however long that you have use of this table, that it serves you well. Please accept a hearty congratulations from our family to you. And uh, we wish you well in all of your endeavors. Well, Buster, looks like the only thing left to do is deliver it. <laughs>